We're here with Bernard Herschel at the International AIDS Conference, and he is with the, the University Hospital in Geneva, Switzerland, and with the AIDS, HIV AIDS unit. And um, there's been some controversy over, you know, since the Croy and that report came out, the Swiss cohort. And I think rather than, you know, talk about what it's suspected to be, kind of describe the reality of this, the study and how, what the, the true results were and, and how we should perceive the results, well, how the results I, should be understood. I thought it would be better to, to talk about a statement or, or a, uh, a statement from a official commission in Switzerland regarding the risk of transmission from people who are treated and have an undetectable viral load. Mm -hmm. Now the reality is that if you collect all the studies that are known, you find no infections originating in those people. Mm -hmm. And now if you have none, the question is, is the risk zero or is it low? Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. It's probably low, but how mm -hmm. low, that is the question. Now, the statement was directed to physicians to help them counsel people in certain circumstances. For instance, when they want to uh, have a child, you can't do that with condoms. So you, the question is, if people are treated, have an undetectable viral load, can they have unprotected sex uh, for conception, for instance? From a very practical standpoint. Yeah. Yeah. Also, uh, there is the question of what is riskier, sex with a condom untreated, or sex without a condom, but with an undetectable viral load. Mm -hmm. And from theoretical uh, calculations and from what is published on small-scale studies, uh, the conclusion of the statement was that the risks were smaller or similar, to be conservative, let's say similar, when having sex without a condom but with an undetectable viral load than sex with a condom untreated. Mm -hmm. They were similar, very low, of course, mm -hmm. because you, know, you, you can understand that. And that caused a quite a stir, because it, um, it puts into question this basic rule, never without a condom. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what the controversy is all about. Mm -hmm. Now, this is linked to a question that is much more, at least quantitatively, much more important than procreation, uh, etc. And that is the role of treatment in prevention. And that is something that was much discussed at this conference, especially also uh, following the initiative taken by Julio Montaner, who's the next president of the International AIDS Society, and who uh, is trying in British Columbia to decrease new infections by expanding the pool of treated patients. The idea behind that is if you have everybody treated, everybody uh, low viral load, uh, with condoms or without condoms, preferably with condoms, but you will have less infections. And uh, he has made projections these are speculations, mathematical projections, which suggest that with a considerable initial investment, you get enormous savings in the future mm -hmm. through lessening new infections and less need for treatment, mm -hmm. and that with sufficient persistence and patience, you could eradicate uh, HIV from British Columbia by 2050 or so. Mm -hmm. I will have to see whether that is really realistic. Mm -hmm. But that is uh, the, the controversy. But it's, it's, a, it's a fiscal issue but also a human issue, which isn't really discussed. I mean, obviously, people don't want to become positive. So, but the, but the, the, the implica cost implications are huge. Cost implications are huge, and the implications for HIV-positive people are very important because it's a load to know that you can contaminate somebody else. Now, mm -hmm. with sex or without sex, but there are people who are, they're always afraid, for instance, of touching somebody else or, or, or kissing their grandchildren or, you know, you, you can tell them what you want about the non-risk, but the fact that you can tell them, well, you're treated and therefore the risk is considerably diminished, maybe by a factor of 100 or 1,000, that is a real load off their backs. And we have had much positive feedback in that respect from uh, people living with HIV and AIDS. Mm -hmm. You might actually compare it to being struck by lightning and so forth. <laughs> yes, uh, I mean, appropriately so, because it's lightning right outside. Exactly, right, exactly. Right. So, is there anything else you, you uh, take away from this conference? Well, I think w one thing I'm taking away from this conference is, is, is the realization that, you know, access for all, that, that's one thing. But once you have a large number of patients treated and you want to treat the rest, you have to face the resource issue. That is an enormous amount of medication 
to be given to many people that needs resources for medication, for care, for laboratories. For many, many years it's a very important commitment and one can get worried a little bit like uh, expressed uh, very well by Peter Piot about what is coming. Is it possible to sustain this? Yes. And uh, I think that's a theme that was uh, mm -hmm. the background of this conference. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it seems as though we're, we, I mean, I think that's very bold to make the statement that we're going to try to treat everyone. I mean, it's, it is, it is a, uh, a huge, I mean, art, uh, antiretroviral treatment for prevention is, is a huge, huge, uh, huge wonderful issue. step, but yes. it's, a, it's huge. It's yeah. huge. It's, it's also, it's positive and negative that it, it is, it is of course born of disappointments. Uh, we don't have a vaccine, microbicide haven't worked so far. Mm -hmm. So you have to think of something else, mm -hmm. because condoms, it seems more or less that people, condom promotion works if people are also scared to death of AIDS, and once they're no longer so, it doesn't work so well. That's either. what I was going to say, is if you have this perception of, oh, it's, it's, the risks are very, very low, if not almost any, you know, non-describable, then does that increase the, the casual sex or the, uh, the incidence of right. Right, increase the number of sexual act that, acts. That could, that could be, that's the downside of it. Mm -hmm. You'll have to see. And that's the time will tell. Yes. yes. Uh, we thank you very much okay. for being here. You're very welcome. Thank you so much.